Celery Crap, and welcome to Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, and it's Wednesday, September 20th. You have just one more day to vote in our latest poll asking what should be done with Le Peng the Crocodile, which was found and caught in northern Phuket earlier this month. Head over to thephuketnews.com to cast your vote. Now here's the news you need to know. Even after safety checks have been urged by officials and guidelines were imposed, a 62-year-old Chinese tourist fell yesterday morning in Patong while riding a parasail. The man, Zhao Jingying, he was taken to Patong Hospital at about 10 a.m. shortly after the incident in which the parasail he was riding had become tangled with a nearby tree and he fell onto the sand, according to tourist police. Though he only suffered a minor bruise to his hip, the incident does come weeks after Patong Mayor Chalum Lakepsak called for safety forms to be filled before tourists ride parasails at Phuket's most popular tourist beach. It also comes after self-imposed safety guidelines were imposed by parasail operators themselves following the death of 70-year-old Australian tourist Roger Hussey, who fell 70 meters into the sea at Kata Beach back in July. The Phuket News is receiving unconfirmed reports that the driver of a car who was allegedly involved in a fatal hit and run accident last night at the bypass road, well, that he's turning himself into police this morning. The accident happened at about 8 p.m. last night, southbound on the bypass road just north of Phuket town, as a 64-year-old woman had just finished work. She was fatally hit by a vehicle while crossing the dangerous stretch of road, and witnesses say that the suspect fled right after the accident. For more on this, visit thephuketnews.com and hoping to replenish the dwindling numbers of fish off the coast of Patani and Songkla in southern Thailand, marine officials are placing 1,000 concrete frames into the Andaman to create an artificial coral reef. The project, which is expected to benefit over 800 households in the area, it was launched after local fishermen in the area reported the scarce fish populations. The 1.5 square meter frames are being dropped 10 meters below sea level, about three nautical miles away from the shore, with reports saying it will create a one kilometer long reef line. For years, overfishing from commercial companies, in addition to the degrading environment, have decimated the local marine life in the area. But since the Coastal Resources Rehabilitations Project was launched back in 2001, over 500 reefs nationwide have been installed. And sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Talk of national unity is being espoused by Prime Minister Prayu Chanucha as he urges all political parties to talk with the government while denying he's made a special deal to stay in power. Speaking at a mobile cabinet meeting in the ancient capital of Utaya yesterday, the PM said he'd like all interested parties to have a discussion in the interest of uniting the country in the name of democracy. But he still brushed aside criticism that he made a quote, secret deal with the Chartai Patana party after the PM was seen meeting with a key figure from the party, though it's no secret that they've thrown their support for him to stay on as premier. Meanwhile, the Bangkok Post reports that Democrat Party leader Abhisit Vijayiva said his party is willing to work alongside the Putai Party only if they cut ties with ex-premier Thaksin Shinawat. And finally, the cheerful rescue volunteers striking again, this time decking out the inside of a second ambulance with a Minions theme, all to help cheer up would-be patients. Niran Lisuan who had previously bought and fitted out an ambulance with a Doraemon theme. He's at it again, hoping the Minions theme would distract patients until they get to the hospital. The 38-year-old Chomburi native has been a rescue volunteer for over 20 years, and he's been in the news as of late for his colorful ambulances, all in the name of making patients happy in a difficult time. A 100,000 bond investment, which is paid out with his own savings. Good job. And that's it for Phuket Extra today from all of us here at the Phuket News Center. Thank you for watching. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Bellini to go is now in Katu. Pizza takeaway and more. Call today.